So one thing that I like to do at the end of the school year after we've finished up all of our things that we were trying to accomplish as just kind of a reward for myself is I take the time to reorganize and clean and sometimes even rearrange our homeschool space. So I wanted to give a quick tour for you guys to see what that looks like. Hello and welcome to Mile High Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Megan. I'm a second generation homeschooler and I make videos on homeschooling and homemaking that are hopefully encouraging to you along the way. And before we dive into today's video, I do just want to clarify that I realize what a huge privilege and blessing it is to be able to have a dedicated homeschool space in our home. Not everyone has a bedroom that they can give up to use like this. And so I totally view that as a huge blessing and privilege. It's not something that I think is necessary for homeschooling. Uh, it's totally fine if you're homeschooling from the couch, from the kitchen table, from maybe a desk in your bedroom, like that kind of thing. It's cool. You don't need to have a special space for it. I just wanted to give you guys some ideas with our space as to how we use it. So this is our homeschool space. And I love having a dedicated room to be able to do our homeschool in. We don't always do it just in here but I love having a spot to store everything and to have my office space and desks for the kiddos and that kind of stuff. And I love the natural light that we have. Like, I just think it's so wonderful. So when you first walk in, we have the kids' desks all lined up here. And even though my daughter is the only one who's formally in school this year, I still have desks set up for both of my sons. So that way, when she's in here doing something, I know they're gonna wanna do something too. So that way they can all be in here together and have their own spot. And I don't have a ton of decoration on this wall just because before I used to have other things on it. And then like the door to the room opens up and like blocks that area. So I didn't have a ton of stuff up there. I know we'll add stuff of like more signs and things like that for my daughter um, as she learns stuff. But I love this like old poster hanger that I got from my grandfather. Um, and it has some of his like old... Bible maps on it and stuff like that. And like just cool, cool posters that I think are so pretty. So I love that for decoration. I think it's really fun. Um, and we've got like our flower press and pencil sharpener and that kind of thing. Uh, this easel here on the wall in the school year, I use it to hold my daughter's coloring pages and her map work pages and that kind of stuff. But right now it's just got a copy of the Lord's Prayer that my friend printed out that I love. Um, this is my desk which also used to be my grandfather. So it's a fun old antique, which is really cool. Um, and I used to store a lot of our art supplies in this desk, but I've since moved them to a different spot to make it easier for the kids to be able to access them on a regular basis. But all of my art supplies, my quiet time stuff, record keeping, planner pages, all that kind of thing I keep here. Um, and then another filing cabinet, for papers and like colored papers and actual filing things and that kind of stuff, printer, that kind of stuff. This cart is actually a new thing for this year, which I'm really excited about. We just got it. Right now I have it loaded up with all of our summer learning gear, but I love it because it's just super easy to wheel around. We got it at Michael's. Um, it was on sale. And so I was super excited to get it because a lot of times it's, I want to have stuff at my desk or I want to wheel it over to the kids' desks or take it out into the dining room or the living room or something, but I don't want to have to haul it around. And then this way I can just like send my daughter and be like, hey, go get the school cart and bring it out. And then we can just have it with us wherever we go. So it's got space for books and toys and uh, we've got our memory verses and handicrafts and supplies and pencil case and that kind of stuff. I'm sure I'll modify it and rearrange it and things as I need to. I've got like little whiteboards and chalkboards and stuff in there. But I am very excited to have this in one spot. And I plan on, during the school year, having all of our school stuff in it as well. So that way I'm not having to go back and forth into the library, but like maybe, I don't know, swap it out each term, like each term have all the stuff we need for that term in it. And then at the end of each term, refresh it for the next one. Um, here on this door, I just, we had like a, wall mount thing that I just hung on the back of this coat hook because I felt like it. <laughs> I didn't want to take the coat hook off and I was like, well, I'll just hang this up. Um, so I've got coloring pages at the bottom, activity books, like sticker by number, painting by number, that kind of stuff in the middle. And then more like penmanship and school books toward the top and like big, like Melissa and Doug wipe off like cursive practice, uh, 
worksheets for addition and subtraction and multiplication and division and that kind of stuff. So all those there, easy access, which is nice. And then I rearranged our library. So this room had this big walk-in closet in it. And like, it goes back quite a ways, as you can see. And there's like another shelf down there. But it goes, and it's pretty tall too. Um, but what I did is, these are all just Target bookshelves that I put in. And then I filled in the like shelf holes with just like putty and paint sanded and painted them and then added spacers and then trim to all of it so they look more like built-ins um because I just really wanted to have a library and I love all of our books so I have them arranged by topic so down here is history biographies and geography and then we have English and poetry then there's science and math and then we have some more poetry stuff up here um I like classic stories, that kind of stuff, lots of fiction books, quiet time bins, that kind of thing, more fiction books, some art stuff, homeschooling things for me, more of our fiction supplies, more fiction books, more fiction books, that kind of stuff. And then this is things that I know they're like more curriculum books or things that I'm going to have out because like these are extra readers for this summer. So I put them there because I don't know if we're going to need all of them right away. So I don't want them all on the cart necessarily, but I want them easily accessed so I have them right there, stuff for some preschool, that kind of thing. And then these bins up here are more uh, quiet time prep, that kind of stuff. That way they have activities for quiet time or activities for read-alouds either way. So that's our little library, which I think is probably my favorite room in the house um, or one of the favorite rooms. And then this was just a fun section to the chalkboard. I actually found at Hobby Lobby. It was on sale. And I've put it together so that way... The middle bin on the bottom is actually empty, which, oh my gosh, I didn't, it used to hold coloring supplies, but now it's empty. So I'm like, I know I'll put something in there eventually. So I'm not too worried about it, but I'm just leaving it right there and unlabeled. But we've got like the chunky wooden puzzles in the one on the left. On the right is like foam blocks and the wooden alphabet blocks. And then here we have tablet stuff and like Osmo games, that kind of thing. We have math games in here, like the abacus and other stuff counting things. And then we have uh, logic of English and like letters and phonograms and all kinds of games like that for practicing that stuff. And then, yeah, just some fun old vintage books that I'd found at thrift stores and stuff like that. And this box I was super excited about because I found it at an antique shop and I'm hoping to kind of make it like my inbox. So you can see it's got some stuff in there. And I'm hoping to just kind of make it a thing that whenever stuff gets out somewhere else in the house, rather than the kids just coming and putting it on my desk and cluttering up my desk and then me not being able to have a functional workspace, I can just say, go put it in my inbox. And then I can just be in the habit of, okay, stuff's in the inbox. Every night I empty it out and put it all away. Well, I hope you got some good ideas from our tour today. And I would love to hear how you utilize the space in your home to make it functional for your homeschool. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what ideas I should use or maybe pick up on to organize things or things that you do in your home. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.